Petland District Manager tells us the ball python has been returned and is doing well, but the albino Pac-Man frog is still missing. They believe it's somewhere around this parking lot. If you see it, they hope you turn it in. It is bizarre. Why are you going to go steal a snake and a frog? Residents and police are puzzled. They aren't sure why or how it happened. To me, a python is a big snake. Mm -hmm. How do you hide a snake to steal it? Wow. <laughs> Makes you wonder where he might have put it. 46-year-old John Allen Bedwell is charged with theft. Petland employees tell Channel 3 he was first asked to leave the store after they caught him tampering with the snake's tank. 30 minutes later, he was spotted playing with the snake outside. He took off on an orange bicycle with the words General Lee on the front. But how do you go with a snake on a bicycle? They noticed the frog was gone too and called police. Officers found Bedwell and a snake behind a nearby sub shop. They say he was holding a red solo cup filled with beer. The missing snake was in the bushes. Bedwell told police he had just found it there. I thought he was crazy. <laughs> I really did. Employees identified Bedwell as a suspect. He was also charged with having an open container. On his way to jail, he told officers he didn't know anything about a snake or a frog. I think it's crazy. <laughs> Maybe they'll find the frog. At least they got the snake back. Officers want you to be on the lookout. If, if people see the frog out there uh, just by happenstance, obviously we hope the frog's okay and, and we'd like to get it back to the store just so they can have the merchandise back. Store employees say they've never had thefts like this before. Bedwell's motive remains a mystery. Uh, only in Dalton. That's the truth. Only in Dalton. Petland says it will take a few weeks to get another albino Pac-Man frog in store. Bedwell is out on an $1,800 bond. Reporting in Dalton, Natalie Botts, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.